salutations everybody just uh, wrapping up an Instagram story that you're gonna see or you've already saw about this so I'm making a story about this sometimes content creation is really confusing Anyway, welcome back to another vlog. This is a special vlog. This is kind of like a special series of vlogs, which is the hashtag vert challenge. What the hell is that? Let me explain. Oh, I already did it with the story if you've seen that. Again, it's confusing. Okay, so check it, home skillet. The hashtag vert challenge is me calling out creators on YouTube and Instagram to challenge you to make some vert and share it with your following for a few reasons. The first is the main purpose and the main mission behind vert, which is to think outside of the box, to create something differently and to challenge yourself creatively to make something in an aspect ratio of nine by 16, which if I may add, is a very hard thing to do. But that's the beauty of it. Damn, this sun is hurting. So two things go with this. One, you have to obviously make a vertical video, 30 seconds to a minute, you know, preferred. And then you upload it on IGTV or YouTube or both. For the purpose of this challenge, you gotta make a vertical video and then you shoot a behind the scenes video, whether it's a vlog of you shooting the actual vertical video and post that to YouTube so everyone can see your process, what you did. I am a little dark right here. One thing that will help you creators make some cool vert is well you can watch my vertical video tutorials where I show you how to make vert how I make vert that's part of the second reason why I want to do this is I want to third second did I make two already my goal for the hashtag vert challenge is to yes bring more awareness to vertical video and challenge creators to think differently and to create differently I think the deeper meaning behind this challenge itself is to see creators getting outside of their comfort zone and creating some awesome cool looking beautifully cinematic storytelling stuff is super inspiring to me so if you're a vlogger or a tech reviewer or an unboxer or whatever the challenge to make something new and everyone seeing the process as you do it is going to inspire so many of you your viewers, your friends, your followers. It's just, uh, it invigorates me and I know it can invigorate you too. So that's why I'm doing it. So who am I gonna call out? Essentially creators that I truly believe in who can definitely fulfill this creative journey. Hold on, I've always wanted to try this. Okay, here we go. Let's get into who I'm challenging first. I wonder how that looked. Did that look good? Did that, did that look good? I don't know. Did you see that? I just, I, I threw it. I, I threw it. So Alex Gassaway is a filmmaker based out in LA who is a daily vlogger on YouTube. She has this really cool series called Hashtag Growing Ambition where she literally just talks about and vlogs about her ambitions for growing with video and with filmmaking and just her daily life. And it's super exciting. I'm like super hooked with it. And I'm really excited that she is the first person to take the Hashtag Vert Challenge. I have officially been it's really cool when you can collaborate with creators you admire. They don't have to be big. Keep that in mind, guys. We need to collaborate a lot more with each other versus trying to create collabs with like, you know, the Casey's and the Peters of the world. Like, come on, dog. Alex, in my opinion, is not only just as talented, she's an amazing storyteller. Can't you say I'm vlogging? Come, come on. You're probably wondering where I'm going, right? I'm, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Let's continue with Alex. So I collaborated with Alex and not only did she take the hashtag vert challenge, but part of the thing with the hashtag vert challenge is I wanna make sure we all get value from it just besides entertainment. And so part of that too is to, I really didn't see that. And part of this is to have these creators who take this challenge teach us something in return. So it's a give and take, right? That's what this community is all about. And so one of the biggest things with just video in general, especially for vertical video, because you need to encapsulate people, you need to pull people in so much, otherwise they just get turned off by it, is you gotta tell a great story. Sweet, I made it in. Whoa. More on storytelling in a minute. Let's check this out with some viewers. in here it's kind of like a tunnel if you can hear back to my point storytelling is probably the number one key to video in my opinion if you're still watching this vlog I'm telling some sort of story perhaps even like how to how did I get here why am I here I enticed you and triggered your brain a little bit ago when I said this you're probably wondering where I'm going right I'm, I'm almost there I'm almost there let's continue without and thus the purpose of storytelling gets huger for vertical video huger is a word right Huger, yeah. So Alex's contribution to this collaboration is to give us some pointers on storytelling as a filmmaker. Take it away, Alex. 
Ben totally nailed my first tip on storytelling right there. My favorite videos to watch and the videos that I find get the best engagement, the most enthusiastic feedback are the ones that leave with an open loop. An open loop entices curiosity in your audience by introducing a bit of information on the front end. Some might call this a hook, but the distinction here is that it needs to be something that leaves your audience's brain naturally wanting to seek out some sort of conclusion. TV shows are so good at this, they'll often leave a loop open for entire seasons to keep their audience engaged. Traditional media often makes their open loop an objective. In almost all movies, books, really any story, there's going to be an objective and an obstacle. Without those two things, you really are gonna have a tough time trying to tell a good story. Always try to show the journey of the hero overcoming her obstacle to reach her objective. to YouTube, you know, vlogging, sharing your own personal experience, try to tell your story visually. Obviously, talking head portions are often necessary and verbal storytelling can be incredibly powerful, but our advantage in video is to be able to draw our audience in with visual elements. Now, it can be really easy to fall into that trap of throwing kind of useless B-roll into the timeline. I've been guilty of this as well, but try to limit yourself to visuals that really drive your story. Now that was drone footage that didn't really drive the story. At best, it gave you a little more context as to where I am. At worst, it was just a random insert and kind of a weird flex that I have a drone. But if I cut to this, showed you how I got here. It's not always easy, but relevant visuals are always better than a random B-roll that don't drive the story. And the real key, the guideline that I try to live by is story is about emotion. If you go around telling the audience what they're already seeing, then you're not adding anything. Instead, tell them how you feel about what's happening. Why you care is why they should care. Because ultimately, if you don't care about what's happening, why should they? I hope those tips were helpful. Now get out there and have fun telling your stories. Big thanks to Ben for having me on the channel. I'm throwing it back to you. Now, when I said creators to come on my channel, I didn't mean for them to give you better advice that I would give you and be better than me on my own channel. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you so much, Alex, for that. That was awesome. Super great tips for storytelling. Super great tips to apply to your vertical videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this video was awesome, entertaining, do you provide you any value in any particular way, I would smash that subscribe button. I would also just get after, I don't have my phone, hold on. If you also enjoyed it, smash that like button as well. Just get after it. I literally just put you down so I can just do that. And I, my beautiful friends on YouTube, sorry it's cold, we'll see you on the next hashtag vert challenge, vertical film, vlog, vertical, whatever I just feel like making and provides you value in some way, shape, or form. I look a little weird with this, right? Look kind of like a Sith Lord. Until next time, peace. Just so if you're wondering, yes, I did catch that. We're all good. Lens is fine. Hashtag vert challenge. Who's next? Is it going to be you? I don't know. Whoa. There was a... There, there was a divot right there. I'm so weird sometimes, I swear.